yeah uh, shrey uh, i just wanted to start uh, from my background uh, basically i am into from it recruitment since past 5 years i was into it recruitment itself Okay. so i just wanted to start my career uh, in a sales force either an admin or by a developer i'm comfortable with both because uh, my btech background is into computer science and i'm very much interested into coding and programming so you just help me uh, whether i should start my career as an entry level or else uh, should i go ahead as an experienced one you uh, can't go as an experienced one for sure because you have yeah. an experience into it recruitment which is nowhere relevant hmm. to being an it developer or no, i yeah yes yes uh, i was just planning to uh, uh, have some hands on experience into projects and also i was thinking to go ahead as an experienced hands on experience of project yeah. you are you are telling hmm. me uh, when you have worked as an it recruiter or when you have worked as um, you didn't worked as a developer right no So then, what kind of an hands-on experience do you have? I have not any experience, but I was just looking out some YouTube videos. Nah. Or <laughs> YouTube videos work, is right? not ex- uh, hands-on experience, Simran. Uh, okay. You you'll have to start as uh, from the scratch. No hmm. experience of yours is going to be counted in here, other than the people management skills that you might have accumulated along mm-hmm. the while when you were a US IT recruiter or IT recruiter, let's say. And uh, yeah, and that's it. I mean, you'll have to work as a fresher. Uh, are you based out of India? Yes. Start as a developer. There's no other choice. Okay. Uh, Very you mean uh, no openings for Salesforce admin, right? I mean, no, not no. a huge. I mean, I mean, I I cannot see any. A lot of people say that there are a lot of opportunities for Salesforce admin out there, but mm-hmm. I outrightly come forward and say no, they are not in India. I mean, because I haven't seen much, right? So. It's 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 going to be a wrong thing to give you false hopes of being a Salesforce admin, especially when you're based out of India. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I don't think there are. If you can find one, nothing better than that. But even if you'll find one, that company might replace you tomorrow for a Salesforce developer who can manage the admin part as well for them, or might ask you to learn the development part because now their org requires you. to do some development and if you're not capable of that they do not want to shell out more money to get it done from some consulting company if they have already hired you so today or tomorrow you'll have to learn development part better learn it today than tomorrow yes okay makes sense and is it mandatory to uh, get into a admin or developer role i mean certification is mandatory na 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 certification is not at all mandatory absolutely not mandatory okay if you really have the right skill set and if you're able to uh, like present it right in uh, first of all in your resume and then uh, right in front of the uh, recruiter or the hiring manager or whoever is interviewing you or the interviewer basically uh, you're going to get a job and uh, it 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 really doesn't matter whether you have the certificate or not because the we all know about the certificates right the truth about certificates <laughs> yes. i don't have to tell you <laughs> we all are laughing so it clearly says <laughs> <laughs> what it is i know people who are certified can't even log in sales force okay so okay okay shri thank you you're welcome i yes. just wanted to know in real time uh, or salesforce developers are going to handle some of the task what uh, salesforce admins do salesforce Because developers are going you... to handle the task that salesforce admin do is that what you're asking yes depends on the org that you're working in uh but i guess we we treat people like that that if you are a developer you should know all the things about admin is you cannot be a great developer unless until you know all the things about admin so according to me yes where are you based out of hyderabad for you it is yes <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay and one more thing uh, is lightning also required i mean mandatory to learn for uh, develop- development lightning experience absolutely it's 50% of it okay 50% of the time uh, by be, like uh, if you if you are a sales developer 50% of the time or probably 70% of the time you'll be developing some or the other lightning web component or something like that so okay. without is it, there any your... other role who will be handling lightning ex- i mean lightning development because in real time uh, there might i mean if you take a java we have a java back end developers and java fr- i mean front end technologies and overall if you say the, this into our development and lightning it will comes under a java i mean salesforce full stack developer right is it so 
I don't think that there is another profile of uh, Salesforce full stack developer. No, no. Uh, uh, but what you say no. is absolutely correct. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. let me tell you what is. Uh, okay, let me explain to all of the people who are on to this call what exactly is a full stack developer. Full stack developer. If you already know, no, no problem. Good for you. Uh, if you don't know, let me explain the definition that I have for it. Number one, very simple. If you know how to code the application from scratch. including the back end of it as well as the front end of it you are a full stack developer that's it if you are a salesforce developer the back end is already the salesforce platform if you, uh, and the front end is the ui that you build on top of it so back end uh, if you want to build some back end logic it it gets uh, you write that down in apex if uh, you yeah if you uh, write down some ui for it in lightning or anything uh you are developing in the front end of it if you know both of the things you can be called as a salesforce full stack developer but by default from every salesforce developer it is expected to know how to write down the front end as well as the back end and by the way in javascript as well full stack developer there is a profile full stack developer but there is no profile javascript back end developer or javascript front end developer so they just call it as full stack developer they can they could have easily called that as javascript developer right or uh, i mean i mean yeah mean stack developer but they're just calling it as full stack developer just to like add some stars into the profile and that is that that's all what it is if in if you talk about a salesforce developer uh it's both building the front end and the back end and the reason why i say it so promptly is because your certificate when you give the certification exam you'll be asked the questions both on how to build the ui that's the front end and how to build the back end that's apex right uh, or any other tool that is uh, available there so you have to learn both of the things in order to be a salesforce developer there is no different profile uh, yeah in a single project you can be assigned to just uh, create the back end or you can be assigned to just create the front end of it but that depends from project to project basis and requirement to requirement basis and the places that you are working in but whenever you are going to go for an interview you cannot say that i am just comfortable with apex or i am just comfortable with lwc or whatever lightning all right uh, you got to know both the you got to know both of the things i hope i answered the question simple yes for lightning we do have a knowledge on javascript and for apex we do have i mean we must have a knowledge on java right oh uh, ha huh, absolutely okay. only javascript is enough for lightning or is there any others i mean yeah css javascript everything any any anything hmm. front end uh, you 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 need to learn that and javascript yeah, I, i guess we have included that in our salesforce developer part so uh, i mean um, but but yeah again it's there is a website called javascript.info uh, that's more than sufficient to learn javascript uh, you just keep on practicing it and by the way it's 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 nothing different yeah it's just another programming language if you know how to ride a yamaha motorcycle you can easily mo- drive a, a hero motorcycle as well as a royal enfield it's just a gear pattern that you have to learn how it works in that and how it works on that one okay makes sense yeah all right but that's only the case with the programming languages typically when i say programming languages javascript uh that's not the case with html or css that you might have to learn if you develop ui that's absolutely different and that's easy very easy to learn very easy and you just google things when you want to get things done it's not that difficult it's not logical right it's you have to practice maths but you don't have to practice you you don't have to um what should i say you don't you don't have to learn the literature part right you you just know the literature part i think ui development is kind of literature part and business logic development is <laughs> mathematics so that's what it is but to how to integrate it all together is also mathematics not mathematics i guess it's pattern recognition plus uh, lego building any other question anyone simran i hope i answered the question by just let me giving you a confusion at the end of it 